Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher coming to you again from Reading Town. It's good to see you. Today's article is entitled Final Year Rap Album Thesis. A thesis is when college students, when they want to graduate uh, and get their masters, uh, they want to show what they've studied. So they want to show what they've researched and found out. And when they write about their discoveries or what they learned and found out, that's called the thesis. So a student is making his final uh, presentation uh, to his professor and what he found out and instead of a normal thesis where you write it down it's a long paper uh, that shows what you studied and researched he made a rap album uh, an album is a collection of songs so this student did something very different let's find out who he is and and why he did that so it says here for the first time in harvard's 381 year history an undergraduate student submitted a, a rap album as a final year thesis and graduated with honors. So where does this take place? This takes place in Harvard University, one of the most famous universities in the world. And over its 381 year history, the first time an undergraduate student, undergraduate means he's not finished with college yet, so he's graduating, uh, and he's a student who submitted, submitted means give, Right? So he gave a rap album as a final year thesis. And not only that, not only did he give this as his final project, he graduated with honors. So if you graduate with honors, that means you get the highest grades. So for example, all A's, right? So he got uh, a very high score and he was a very good student. Uh, it says the 20 year old student, Obasi Shaw, was awarded summa cum laude minus, uh, the second highest grade in the English department. So he was given one of the highest awards, uh, the second highest that you can get in the English department. So he was studying English as his major and his name was Obasi Shaw and he's only 20 years old. So he did something different. He was given a very important award, uh, the summa cum laude minus, and that's one of the highest scores you can get. So he did a very good job on his uh, rap thesis, right? rap album thesis. And it says, unlike other students, busy with preparing written thesis, uh, collecting poems, or writing screenplays, Obasi prepared a 10-track rap album entitled uh, Liminal Minds. So here, uh, other students are working on other projects for their thesis. They're making poems, uh, they're writing, or they're even writing screenplays. Screenplays kind of like what you direct for a drama or a movie, right, or a show. So all these other students in his college, the English college, uh, everybody was writing things, but Obasi Shah decided, I'm going to make an album that has 10 songs in it, 10 track. And he called it Liminal Minds as the title. Uh, he tried to combine elements of Middle English poetry with issues of racial identity in America. So where did he get his idea? He took uh, a lot of elements or a lot of things uh, from uh, the Middle English poetry, so from long time ago, right, poetry, and he, con he combined it with uh, some of the issues today in America. And we have a lot of racial identity issues where that means people are still kind of uh, having trouble with understanding who they really are, where they come from. So a lot of those things, uh, he combined those issues with some of the style of Middle English poetry, poetry from a long time ago. Uh, it says, each song in the album focuses on racism and the criminal justice system and uh, followed the format of Geoffrey Chaucer's The Canterbury Tales. So Geoffrey Chaucer is a famous English poetry, uh, a poet, uh, a writer, and he wrote a story called The Canterbury Tales and it's very famous and that's what he kind of modeled it after. Uh, and he used uh, a lot of the issues with racism and the criminal justice system. So the criminal justice system is like the judge, the police, that's the criminal justice system with the lawyers uh, and how the law is carried out. So he talked about how racism, how people are being treated unfairly because of their skin color or because of their country origin. So those are the issues between the police and the judge and the lawyer and the people, mostly people of color. And those issues, he talked about that content using Geoffrey Chaucer's style. So he combined something that's very old with something that's very uh, current, right? Uh, so uh, he says, Shaw said, we are free, but the effects of slavery still exist. 
So because he is a person of color, uh, he talks about how even though there's no longer slavery, uh, there's still a lot of things that uh, remain uh, as far as how they're treated today that is like the days of slavery. Each song is an exploration of that state between slavery and freedom. So in his thesis, in his album, his 10 song rap album uh, that he gave to his uh, university, he is talking about how difficult it is to live these days in America because you're free, but still you're not fully free because of the way that you're treated unfairly because of these racial issues. Uh, in closing, it says his thesis advisor called him an artist and praised the fluidity of his creation as an academic piece and artistic creation. So when his professor uh, or his advisor, uh, the person who's helping him, uh, received his project, they said that it flows, it has a good flow, and it shows his creation. His creation is very smooth as you uh, receive and as you listen to his, his work. And it says it's artistic and it's academic. So not only is it creative, it's very intelligent, right? So it shows that he did a lot of research and study and it's mixed in with creativity. After graduation, he will work for Google as a software engineer intern. So uh, Obasi Shaw, he graduated from Harvard and he gave a very interesting uh, final project for his thesis. Unlike everyone else who wrote uh, their final project, their thesis, he wrote uh, and made a 10 track album and it was a rap album. And the content comes from uh, some classic uh, English literature, some classic uh, Geoffrey Chaucer, uh, Chaucer's work, uh, that element, that piece, uh, parts from that as well as some of the current uh, issues, hot topics of today dealing with uh, racial inequality. Uh, so this is a very interesting way to make an impression. So unlike other students, he decided I want to do something that uh, has a lot of my creativity and he did it. He worked very hard and he got the second highest score possible. So he was very successful, very interesting. Uh, a young person who's not afraid to do new things, right? So uh, very interesting to read about Obasi Shaw and that's a picture of Obasi Shaw in Harvard. And let's look at uh, the questions today from our reading. How long is Harvard's history? So we talked about it at the beginning of the article. Uh, it's over 300 years, but not quite 400 years. Do you remember? It was 381 years. So Harvard has been around almost 400 years, a lot of history. What is the title of the album by Obasi Shaw? So we talked about it earlier too, something about your mind. And he wanted people to kind of think about and open your mind, so his track uh, album title is Liminal Minds. And what were the focusing points for each song? What did he talk about? Did he talk about nature? Did he talk about a long time ago in classic literature like Shakespeare? What was it that he focused on? We talked about the different issues. Uh, he mixed it uh, with some of the older styles. So racism and criminal justice system. So the criminal justice system is the system in how they try to carry out the laws. So it starts with the police officers, the lawyers, the judge, all of that is part of the criminal justice system. And racism, like we talked about, is being treated unfairly because of your skin color or because of where you come from, right? So he mixed in the problems that Americans suffer uh, in those two areas. Uh, and the last part, let's fill in the blank and answer uh, and complete these sentences. So it says here, for the first time in Harvard's 381 year history, a um, something student submitted a rap album as a final year thesis and graduated with honor. So what was his uh, group? Was he a person who already finished college? No, he wasn't. So he was a person who was still uh, trying to get his degree and we call that an undergraduate. So he's graduating for the first time. Okay. Uh, and part B, it says, he tried to blank elements of Middle English poetry with issues of racial identity in America. So we said he had two things, right? He had uh, Middle English poetry, some parts of Middle English poetry, some elements of it, and issues of racial identity in America. People still trying to find out uh, what it means to be American and understanding where they came from. So what is he doing with these two parts uh, in his album? And the word there is combined, right? So he's putting together some old 
classic styles with some new issues in the news and he's combining it together in his album. And the last part, it says, after blank, he will work for Google as a software engineer intern. So he wants to work starting uh, out at the company, famous company Google, and he's going to work there after he does what? And we talked about it all throughout the article, so he's trying to finish uh, college, so after graduation. So after he finishes school, he already has a job lined up. He's very skilled and talented, and a company like Google, right, is uh, excited to have someone like him working for their company. So uh, there's different ways that you can do a project. Uh, first, you always want to double check uh, with your professor or your teacher, but Obasi Shaw did something different than everyone else. It was something that was very personal. He wanted to do something that was creative from his heart and he was very successful. So I guess the lesson from today, don't be afraid uh, to show your personality or your characteristic or your creativity uh, and don't be afraid to try something different and you might be able to get uh, a lot of praise, a lot of rewards for doing something new and different. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's article and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye everyone.